Now, 2022 was recorded as the deadliest year due to Israel-Palestine tensions in decades. But this year has started on a note where the situation is looking much worse. Palestine says Israel has carried out another raid in the occupied West Bank. It was daytime arrest operation in Nablus and soon it turned deadly. At least 11 Palestinians have been killed, including three gunmen and other civilians. A 72-year-old man and a 14-year-old boy was among those dead and over 100 people were wounded. Palestinians from the nearby houses rushed to the house that was besieged. At 9.30, the special forces entered the area. At 9.48, a sound of an explosion came out, which woke me up. And I looked out the window and saw special forces with dogs and were connecting wires, which I assume are for TNT. God knows. The raid reduced a building to rubble and left a series of shops riddled with bullets. Many parked cars were crushed. The blood stained the cement ruins. The Israeli military justified the raid, saying many rebels were taking shelter in the house. There were no Israeli casualties. Soon after the killings, Palestinians formed a funeral procession. People were seen carrying bodies from very crowded streets. Palestinian sources said that the two Islamic Jihad commanders were killed. It has been two months this year and at least 55 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank and East Jerusalem, a pace that could exceed last year's death toll. Nearly 150 Palestinians were killed in the entirety of last year. Israel says that most of those killed have been rebels, but youths protesting the incursions have also been killed. An Associated Press tally found that just under half of those killed belong to the rebel group. The United States has said that it is extremely concerned by the levels of violence in Israel and the West Bank. The State Department said that while it recognizes Israel's security concerns, what's worrying is the loss of civilian life and large number of injuries. We recognize the very real security concerns facing Israel. At the same time, we are deeply concerned by the large number of injuries and the loss of civilian lives. We had productive conversations in recent days with the parties and U.S. regional partners in support of efforts to prevent further violence. We are deeply concerned that the impact of today's raid could set back efforts aimed at restoring calm for both Israelis and Palestinians. It's an age-old issue. Israel captured the West Bank, East Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip back in 1967. Tensions have been escalating since then. Palestinians have been seeking an independent state, something the Israelis strunch, are staunchly against. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.